The views and comments expressed on the following radio program by its hosts and their guests do not necessarily reflect the views of rmconair.com or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. What up? We on? No music? <laughs> you want some testing, music? Testing, testing? Yeah. Are we on? <laughs> what up, motherfuckers? <laughs> 5150 has made it another week here at rmconair.com. Uh, uh, quite a change of pace from the foxhole over there. What's the difference? Um, freedom. Yeah, no freedom. <laughs> Come on now. Chat room. Oh, yeah, the chat room is fly. Came One from. The, uh, we, we on camera. Absolutely. That's a, that's a, that, that's a big difference it's a, right it's there. It's a huge difference. I agree. Then you also have we in the neighborhood with bullshit jumbo. <laughs> Don't tell them my neighborhood. What? We used to be in the abandoned. foxhole. We used to be at the Conga room or over there at the office where if you Beverly walk outside, Hills. you yeah. can stand around and not really worry about shit. <laughs> this area has a cutoff time. <laughs> you got to get out of standing here. outside, motherfucker. <laughs> Once Roscoe's closed, you ain't got no business to fuck around here. <laughs> <laughs> What's so Roscoe's true. chicken and waffle clothes? So, uh, my man Zoe Williams, I I got a special guest here who's gonna uh, talk some shit. Damn, we've been meaning to talk some shit. This is my auntie. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out one of the mics, auntie, and yeah. uh, introduce yourself as who you gonna be today. Yeah, Introduce yourself as who you going to be today. <laughs> get on the motherfucker. Hey, I'm not going to give up the truth. This is my auntie. <laughs> That's your auntie. What's your name, auntie? Um, you got to speak into the mic. Quit being shy. <laughs> my name is Maya. Okay, Maya. Maya is going to be the female opinion on the show today. Wow. Have you Along replaced? Reporters. Have you replaced? OG Darlene, she got a lot of shit going on. A lot of people want to know what's up with Darlene. I talked to Darlene earlier this week. She is all right. She good? Okay. It's busy times in her life right now. Real busy times in her life. Okay. So I guess she'll eventually get it together and be able to commit to the show okay. soon. But Darlene be running. All right. So yeah. is that the code that... Is court and police? She busy and running. Well, you know, it's like this. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes just... people, um, sometimes people get busy, mm -hmm. and they can't, they don't have time to do things like they used to do. I respect that. Right. Somebody coming to me saying, "Man, Corey, I be running, whoop de whoop de whoop." Right. And this ain't them foxhole checks. <laughs> it ain't like the foxhole had some big ass checks, but it was something. Used to be able to fill up the car or something yeah, with them motherfuckers. Just do a few things, things, you know. <laughs> what, what, what kind of person would I be if I didn't say that shit was missing? <laughs> the foxhole checks, the RMC on their checks literally ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> literally. <laughs> <laughs> them motherfuckers are null and void. <laughs> This motherfucker here, boy. <laughs> hey, so um, I heard that they was going to have a TV show with Shorty Loke. Yeah. About him and his baby mama. Oh, and my it baby got canceled. Mama. Yeah. What the fuck? I think that would have been very, very revealing. What do you mean when you say revealing, though? <sighs> Again, in my opinion, and maybe you can help me with it, I think... All our dirty laundry is on TV and records right now, black people. Mm -hmm. So I think it was just revealed another ugly layer to our community that really should be behind closed doors that we should be trying to fix. But you know how Hollywood do. We, we love a train wreck. We love to see some mess. You know, we love to see a fight. So all my baby mamas. And, and here's a, an interesting twist that I thought a lot of the, uh, the backlash was towards Shorty Low. But if you got 10 baby mamas, That's then that means there's a mentality amongst women that think it's okay. Mm. Yeah. I think we need to challenge that, too. Well, I know you want to say something. Go ahead, uh, Auntie. Yeah, she, uh, Auntie took a deep breath. You got to be in quiet and shit. <laughs> I, I don't have anything to say about that. I rarely see her shy like this. <laughs> <I'm>, Auntie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now, hey, but on that, that show would have revealed... Um, a lot about, in my opinion, women um, and what they do with men with status. Right. 
uh, if you are of status, mm-hmm. it's no big deal to have a lot of baby mamas. Right. Now, a dude who is not working or something like that, he, you know, if he got like 10 baby mamas, that'll be like, damn, that motherfucker got 10 baby mamas. But I'm just saying, like, when you got status. You showed it low. Yeah, I don't know what kind of money he got. <laughs> but over there in, in, in A, where he from, he got status. Right. That means you get the fuck women. Yeah. Regardless of your situation, right. it means they keep the they keep the baby. Wow, right, they keep the baby. I already got nine. Wow, that's okay. You shorty low. They gonna be this shorty low baby at the daycare. Uh-huh. <laughs> at the <laughs> at the daycare. There's a lot of women who want their baby to have privileges and shit. Like they look too old. That shorty low son. Oh, that shorty low son. We gonna it's, take good care. Of him. So it's daycare daddy cred. Right. <laughs> that's you, crazy. You get that, especially a place like Atlanta. I don't know if. You've ever been to Atlanta, but in Atlanta, mm. status from them rappers, that's big shit out there. That means something. Especially in the, I call it the hood community. So you telling me that in the hood community, our sisters is down with having kids just based on the dude's status alone. You got damn right. Who Have agrees ever- or disagrees with Corey Holcomb right now? Please call us at 323-965-1600. Corey, go deeper. You go to a nightclub in Atlanta, and I have done this. And people from Atlanta, I, I wish you would call in because it ain't just Atlanta, but Atlanta is one of the premier cities for this because mm. they have rappers of status. Mm-hmm. Um, you are like the president out there. If you really getting it, you really on. You making TV, a name yeah. for yourself, Buzz. Yeah, yeah. Oh. you you wow. get you get the red carpet. Wow. In every way in the club, they got little sections VIP'd off for you. You call one of them girls to the VIP. Boy, that shit like in the front of the line with government <laughs> cheese. Do you think they should have taken the show off? Who who agrees that the show should have come off? Call us, 323-965-1600. Who agrees that it was the right decision to take How it off? How different can it be than these shows um, where these girls are fighting on here, making fools out of themselves, talking about, oh, you lucky or whatever. I saw, I saw, I saw a, um, I've never watched Love & Hip Hop. But when I cut it on, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's coincidence or whatever, I saw some girl, and she was acting tough in front of the camera, talking down to some man, and he was acting like he was, um, what's the word I want to say? He was trying to please her Loving with something her. he did. You know what I mean? What was, uh, is it's, it's Atlanta Love and whatever that Atlanta show you is? You talking about the, the Stevie J dude? I don't know the producer guy. I don't know none of those dudes. I've never watched the show. You know what I mean? But right. I just, you know, as soon as I, I happened to, actually, my, my, my daughter was watching the show. Mm-hmm. And what I saw was basically some girl acting like she's the authority figure. And it was embarrassing to me. Like, I was like, they don't even get it. That's the only way they'll let you be on TV. Wow. Is the fucking clown like that. Like, you somebody. Wow. This is interesting. I want to see what the callers have to say. We got a say. caller from Atlanta. Uh-oh. You asked for it, and here it is. ATL. G. G, you what's on the up, line? Man? What's up? Uh, what's up, Snow? What's up, Corey? What's up, um, quote-unquote auntie? How y'all doing? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, um, I'm a L.A. cat, man. I'm from the west side of L.A. I've been living in Atlanta for the past two years now. Okay. Now, they have a lot of chicks, but they're not quality chicks. I mean, you go to a mm. club in Atlanta, it looks like the cast of Roots in that motherfucker. So, <laughs> Hysterical. It's not hard to get a lot of Atlanta chicks. And you know what? <laughs> that- everybody got um, 80-inch 1B in their hair and 10-syllable names. But, yes, they do have a lot of chicks. That, and that's they, interesting. They don't to nothing. That's interesting that you from LA and you down in the South now with them down deep rooted South people. Yeah. Um, do you do you think you say that because it's a lot of women who are dark skinned? Like when you go in Atlanta, you see you see a lot of the people who come from Louisiana and all that. Yeah, I mean, I just I'm not in that's the one sap looking bitches. I mean, I'm cool. That's some LA shit though, G. That's wait, some wait, LA say it shit. again. He's not into what. Bitches that look like Warren Sapp. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm fucking fuck a snake. You hold his mouth open. They not quality bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Warren Sapp looking women. God. <laughs> now, I've been to Atlanta. It ain't that damn bad. Yeah, Atlanta I, is I all you, right. Has anybody ever told you you look like Kevin Durant? Uh-huh. Like, you're not supposed to be able to say that. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, it, that's it, how I do that. I know what Corey's saying. Like when Corey comes down here and he does his comedy, 
he sees, like him in L.A., you see a mixture of women. You know what I mean? Corey from, you know, he's from the shy, so he gets a variety. I don't know if he's from Zoe, but you got green eyes, so you get your variety. So, that shit works for him. It, 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 <laughs> this it, it, shit is out of control. Party, Zoe light skin, yeah, yeah, I'm cool. different eyes, them bitches gonna keep his babies. Yeah, they're going to keep his baby. They're going to keep his baby. My baby's going to be in the ghost. This is a mess. He, he, you know what, G? Don't do it. I don't it. know if you can see it. Don't look embarrassed. Like, <laughs> the bitch is going to keep your baby. Wow. <laughs> this is out of control. Have you ever had a girl abort your baby, Zoe? Yes. What's, you did? Mm-hmm. Oh, they're going to keep yours, though. Was she black? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, she was. She was a black girl? Yeah. And she aborted your baby? Yes. Wow. That's different. She really didn't like you. Well, she was under duress. I was just going to say, that bitch had some options. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch had another motherfucking light skin motherfucker, bro. She had a light skin motherfucker with that She had a Puerto Rican. <laughs> I don't got to gamble. This is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, G, thanks for your opinion, man. That's what's okay, up, man. And shorty little baby mamas are disrespectful. All 10 of them bitches are good. I, I can well, imagine. At least one of them would be cute out of ten, but all of them disrespectful. Oh, so, he got all you know, ugly hoes pregnant? The whole crew, nigga. The whole crew looks like a Tarzan movie. All the whole crew <laughs> for them. Wow. Oh, gee, you off the chain. All right, man. I have a good one, man. God bless you, man. Keep the show going. Later. Duh, all right. We're going go to we gonna go to one of our uh, favorites on the 5150 <laughs> here at RMC. So, Wonder. So, Wonder, what's up, man? What's going on, um, Brother Corey? You um, got it, man. What's going on, Brother Zoe? What's cracking, man? And um, uh, uh, who who is this very young lady um, in between y'all? That's this, Auntie. This auntie. Auntie, how you doing um, this evening, Auntie? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thank Hello. you. <laughs> Speak louder to the mic, Auntie. <laughs> you can't hear me? They can hear you. Okay. Before I make my comment about Charlotte, I got to ask Corey and, and Zoe a question. Do you two Negroes ever check your uh, Twitter yeah, I just checked mine a minute ago. What you need? <laughs> I, I, I would say, okay, I sent Corey a direct message because Corey follows me. I sent him a direct message about a couple of months ago about, about this idea I had um, with my homeboy, you know him, Head Crack, from the Rookie Smiley Show. Mm hmm. Yeah, I know Head Crack. Yeah, I sent you something about a couple months ago. And Zoe, I sent you something last week. You was mentioning about those beats that Corey always clowning, that they play on during the intermission and stuff. I wanted to ask you. Who the producer that was from? Well, that's a, a friend of mine named Joseph Lineberg. Produced a lot of stuff for Snoop and a lot of other people. Been in the game a long, long time. Trumpet player, yeah. makes a, a lot of fly beats. And he gave me a oh beat God. CD, and I and I basically just play those when I don't have a DJ. Oh, my God. That, he's out of control. That's, oh, well, thank you for the compliment. I'll pass it on. And as a, follow, as a fellow producer, i got to say much respect. Oh, he's thank you, brother. But, uh, Corey, check your goddamn direct message, Negro. I got some shit. Okay, motherfucker, I asked you what you want. You ain't say shit. <laughs> well, I have an idea that it's I don't private. want to... It's private. Oh, no oh, okay. On the radio. I want a nigga stealing my idea. That's why I said check your message, Negro. Okay, I, I will. I it's will, brother. So one of those Negroes right here. He right. trying to make a connection. I see. Well, you know, there's been enough niggas that have been flying over the air in movies and shit these last uh, couple of weeks, so... I figure I, I curtail it down to Negroes. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, it's all good. So, I'm going to get at you on that. All right, as far as uh, Shorty uh, Lowe's little show, and you said something, Zoe, about secrets. It goes back to a show I was watching where Speedy was saying something about other cultures have secrets, but the black folks don't. And it's Speedy like, said that? Shows. Speedy yeah, didn't yeah, say he, that. He, he, he said some profound shit that day. <laughs> Speedy is Michael. like Shorty Low point one one point oh. I mean, he's the first Shorty Low, right? Especially out here in L.A., these you niggas got secrets like a motherfucker. It's a profound shit. <laughs> Black folks have no secrets, so with a show like this, it's just like it's like an attempt to outdo how how low we can go to outdo uh, the last motherfucker. That's a good show. point. That's a good point. And mm. it, ten baby mamas. They need to have uh, Antonio Cromati on there too. This nigga got 12 children in three years. Well, I, I, my, my opinion about the Shorty Loke show, they can't clean it up. Maury Povich has a way to make the guy look bad, no matter how many dicks yeah. been up in the girl. Wow. But this show, bottom line, it's 10 of you bitches. <laughs> <laughs> it's 10 of you bitches. Right. What the fuck? How the fuck is you going to act like something wrong with him? Right. We got to start a lineup. Hey, and the reserves. Of, he like he should he did what Tiger should have did. He got a lot of money. That's what he told. I got a lot of money. 
He ain't got no lot of money. If he ain't, if he had a lot of money, he wouldn't be doing that show. Well, he wow. better have a lot of money because they're going to kill his ass in the child support. All right. Well, thanks for the call, man. I yeah, appreciate it. Thanks for the call. So, one we gonna go to my man. This is a different um, name right here. Um, I want to make sure I say it right. Are you on the line, Haitian Drew? Yeah. Yeah. What's poppin', C O? What's good? What's going on, R T? And what's cracking? Hey. What's happening? What it do? Chillin', so chillin', tell tell man. This Haitian Bruce, man. I am a long time listener. And listen, let me tell you something. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna try to be quick with this. I got two points. One point. Um, Corey, you, you, you fit all this uh, comedy on top of um, that knowledge that you spit. And that knowledge that you spit, niggas should be paying for that shit. That's real. That's real. Niggas should be paying for that. You Thank really you, brother. <laughs> you heard that, Auntie? You hear that, Auntie? <laughs> hey, 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 let me tell you something, though. That, this balance that you got with Zoe, this, this shit is nice. This shit is really good. I think it's good because a lot of motherfuckers ain't hearing. They get, they get confused with all them jokes. The jokes is wonderful. The funniest nigga in the world point blank but i'll tell you this is something nice because these niggas gotta listen i'm gonna tell you my point was these fuck niggas is fucking it up worse than these bitches and that's real <laughs> because these, uh, these these fuck niggas i'm talking about in general you guys be focusing on these girls these girls they they lost already because the daddy ain't home right right now if that nigga was on point that nigga would show hey don't be fucking around don't, don't start acting up like that he'll show her the right way and how to deal with motherfuckers and at least how to deal with society in the correct manner you know what i mean you talking about shorty low and his baby mamas oh, oh well, well i'm talking about in general well if we want to talk about shorty low i mean when they had they had that little um when it's white people doing it they want to go ahead and put it on uh showtime uh, right. They want to go ahead and talk about that Mormon shit. Like, you know, they want to go ahead and make it look like, oh, it's a nice lifestyle. But when a black dude does it, now, I think it's ignorance regardless, but I just think it's funny how they're trying to go ahead and shut homeboy down. Right. Because well, black people are ashamed. Because it's black people protesting it, um, as well. Well, how can we be ashamed? Let's just be honest. How can we be ashamed of Shorty Lowe, but not ashamed of Nene Leakes? Well, well, because Shawty Lowe got a house stood with bitches. Nene Leakes lives in a house. She, what does that mean, though? Nene wait, Leakes wait, is missing the tooth and, and fighting hey, and and, and built like a mule and just, I, I can't do it. But my thing is, Nene Leakes has to answer to somebody. But Shawty Lowe, that nigga got 10, he got 10 bitches in the house. They, he could give them all the same name. They all going to do whatever because they know what time it is. They, they can't get no job nowhere. They got no, they, they screwed, so Nene Lee, she got a, she, she, she just, she just a, a bra, another bra who pump they can act like she making moves, but she needs somebody to go ahead and, and, and be solid. <laughs> pump they can <laughs> That's no, that's bronze, a good that's point, bronze. though. Think about what that he was said. a good point. <laughs> she came up, she came up, and I got respect for that. That's mm. cool, I, I, I respect it. No, nah, to me, it's two, it's two opposite ends, two extremes. That's what it is to me. And is it, we need to find some middle ground where we don't give up all of our secrets and we don't become... I mean, to me, NeNe Leakes is a personality that used that personality to move up the ladder in terms of celebrity. But the things she has to do and the, and the, and the caricature that she has to portray, to me, is still disrespectful to black women. She's a Django. Yeah, she's a female Django, for sure. But <laughs> well, why is she disrespectful when there are women like that I mean why can't you just be yourself and if somebody doesn't I mean well, we they exist she's not making up something that is like out of true, thin air true they, auntie that's true putting ourselves on television are we bold enough to do that because we are ashamed of our neighbors our family members that live a certain way <laughs> you know what I right mean? that's, that's the problem but what I'm saying is we can't look at the the look at two evils and go well this is a lesser evil and we should applaud the lesser oh, oh, evil yeah. evil is evil if <laughs> Nene Leakes is a coon <laughs> We can't say, well, she's a diet coon compared to Shorty Lowe <laughs> coon. Light. <laughs> coon light, you know? <laughs> I, will, I will say this, though. She, she, she is a stripper. Let's not forget it. She's a stripper that came up. Let's not go ahead. Like, really? There ain't no stripper to no strippers. Because everybody <laughs> is she a stripper? Like, what what kind of money? What Was she stripping at a farm? <laughs> well, let me tell you something. In Atlanta, in Atlanta, in Atlanta, Georgia... You can take a look at this bitch. You can tell that she stripped at a birthday party that she got less than a hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, but hey, shit, hey, shit, hey, listen. Yeah. Yeah, this is another thing about Atlanta. Huh. A major, a, a large majority of the sisters in Atlanta 
strip. Yeah. They got strip clubs everywhere. Lunch but nah, strip. you can say that Atlanta ain't that strip in like L.A. where you got to have on some clothes. <laughs> I'm talking about Atlanta is. You can look at my asshole strip club. <laughs> My asshole is not covered. Everything that's valuable is hanging in front of you <laughs> as I gather these $30 that's on the ground from 10 hours of work. I'm, I don't want to catch a cab, so I'm going to go ride over one of these niggas and suck him off. I don't want to give up $8 out of my 30 I made. That's Atlanta. You either strip or you go to church for a little gay men. Oh, oh damn. That's all you're doing, Atlanta. Wait, but isn't Atlanta, metropolitan city, a lot like D.C., where no. there are a lot of sisters in Atlanta that have great jobs, government jobs. There, there are a lot of people, brothers and sisters in Atlanta that work. That's why a lot of people move to Atlanta, people of color. I think Georgia, but not Atlanta. I think, I think Atlanta has been, um, it was once a strong place for black people. Now it's a, now it's a, look, now niggas is wearing girl clothes over there and nobody say, I, that niggas is Somebody should have went to Morehouse. Somebody should have went down to Morehouse and stopped that shit. <laughs> In Atlanta, the whole church will know that every male choir member got a cat suit on under the road. <laughs> and they will be G for that. They'll be like, that's the Lord doing his work up there. Uh, Atlanta, Atlanta. A cat suit. On. <laughs> Listen, there needs to be an investigation of morality oh. in Atlanta, Georgia, because all they do is strip and go to church. That's all they do. They, they live a, they live the fun you, you, you they live, and no no this to everybody live their own life man I'll tell you like this the funniest thing is if you're gonna strip and go to church and it's the same city where these dudes is wearing Daisy Dukes and going to church guess what Atlanta it, it, I mean sheesh it is what it is listen, that, hey 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 so listen man. I brought New Year's Eve in in Atlanta and I swear to God some of the most um whoremongers men I know brought in New Year's Eve in church. Like That's why they a, go. It's a down south tradition. Or they something go like that. to church to repent for their sins that they did the night before. I mean, if you you got, leave, it's like give and take. If you leave church to go to the strip club. I think that's just like if you jog all day and eat a box of donuts. Am I right? That's yeah, real. That sounds about that's right. Real. It's, it's the same thing. That's real. How do you, how do you premeditate to, to sin? It's like that. It, it, I mean, just to be real, you know what I mean? Like, I don't even, I'm not, I'll be real. I don't go to church because I know what time it is with me. As long as my family's straight. But it's like, if I'm going to go ahead and, if I know I'm going to be, I'm going to be out there or doing something that I know is totally disagreeing to what they, what they say in a church. I'm not wasting my time. I could be playing some fucking PlayStation or something. Because you got more respect for if there is this God, this higher power, you Absolutely. can step to him and say, look, man, I'm out here fucked up. But see, there's people out here who are fucked up who will, the first thing they'll say, if there, if there is this God, they'll say, I went to change. Right. Lukewarm motherfucker. So you saying religion is more like an insurance policy. It's a just in case this is real. Oh, absolutely. Mm. Oh, absolutely. You, you ain't know. What's every, religion? Everybody's, everybody's in, in these religions out of hope that they're going to go to paradise or they're going to have all this. Listen, they're focusing on the wrong thing. They say they, if they're in religion, they should be focusing on God. Fuck the paradise. How much <laughs> money could church make if they incorporate the stripper pole? They would make a lot of money. If they had the choir Man, singing know. the bitches on the pole, <laughs> I'm saying. that church would be even more packed. They'd That's be like, crazy. well, we ain't got to go to the strip club. We can just have TDP said tax-free. <laughs> tax-free pussy. <laughs> No, but look, 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 check this out, man. Wow. <laughs> so, you said something that was deep right there. <laughs> what? We had the, the stripper pole and all that. And, and, and let me tell you something, man. People, Come as you are. People are <laughs> under the influence, in my opinion, mm -hmm. that if they go to church, then all the bad shit they do is going to be okay. Cancel them. Right. If you eat That's if what you that religion, eat Christianity teaches them. You can right. fuck up as much as you want. Long so, as you ask right. so do you tell people who, like you just said, eat junk food? Do you be like, don't go to the gym the next day to try to work it off? It's no, It doesn't matter. Just No, no, no. I will tell you. I will say, hey, you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen after you eat the junk food. I would recommend you not to do it because let's be for real. You're going to be wasting. You're going to be playing catch up tomorrow. I'm not going to say don't do it, but let's be for real. If you want to go to the gym today and uh, tomorrow because you're eating junk food today, 
shit. You gotta go. You better not eat junk food tomorrow. Right. Like, like you know, if you stripping today so you could go to the church tomorrow, don't strip the next day. That's I mean, not just like I said. I'm I was trying to get after midnight. Hey, goddamn gremlin! Hey, hey, so we gotta get ready to take a break, man. I'm glad you called, man. We'll hear from you again. Hey. Fifty one fifty hey, show. Every week. Much love to y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all got power. So I tell you, hey, I'm gonna say this. Y'all need to go ahead and put some. Go ahead and rent out some rooms. And save the world from these fuck niggas, cause I'm telling you, you, you and Corey, I know you know what I'm saying. I know all y'all know what I'm saying, including Auntie and though you a genius, but I'm saying. <laughs> we gonna, hear me out, we hear gonna me find out, a way. We gonna find a way to pull it out, man. Out one of these, y'all need to get a little seminar and teach these fuck niggas, cause they fucking up the world for everybody else. Wow, that's real. Appreciate shit, it, man. man. We gotta go to break, but that that's that's deep thoughts. Fifty one fifty. We'll be back, motherfucker, with another topic. about oh, court. Oh, oh, I put it like this. Black <laughs> men with bass in their voice. Have you ever seen a black man with bass in his voice on Oprah couch? Every yeah. motherfucker on Oprah couch is like, hey Oprah, how you doing? <laughs> oh, I'm no. glad it's happening. I'm glad You saying it's Oprah don't like black men? She don't like motherfuckers who got um, their own train of thought that ain't kissing her ass. She don't like what you would call progressive. Uh, 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 aggressive, a proud black man. Right, strong. Right. Unyielding. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, what's up, bitch? Let's talk about it. So let's give the callers a heads up of what we're talking about coming back from break. We're talking about it, and maybe you callers can call in and let us know the facts. 323-965-1600. We're under, our understanding is that Shorty Lowe's show was supposed to be on Oxygen, which is owned by Oprah Winfrey. Right. Or she's a partner in that network or something like that. The question was, is, why would Oprah Winfrey greenlight, right, some more, you know, denigrating, desponding, negative image of either a black man or other black women? Those 10 black women are in this TV show, too. I got the answer to that shit. Ratings. I don't give a fuck what you say. Jerry Springer, Maury Povich, them the shows motherfuckers watch. Right. Right. So if you want to get your ratings high, right. all you got to do is have poor, unrepresented people. Wow. <laughs> wow. At the goddamn fool on TV. So she's like, they playing themselves. Might, well, I might as well make a piece of change off of them while they playing themselves, right? Well, she playing them too. If she wow. part of it, you either part of it or you not. I mean, isn't that what a pimp does, though? I mean, if he's like, are, a woman's going to fuck, Auntie? let me get paid. <laughs> Auntie, are you <laughs> calling don't... Oprah Winfrey a pimp? Go deeper. <laughs> Auntie from Chicago, too. Oprah, Wait. get out of here. I mean, I'm just saying, that's what people Sweaty do. I'm shit. saying, they find, you know, a way to make money off what people already do, what they can do. Wow. So, like, if you see somebody Agents. out here fucked up, and they good at being fucked up. You might as well capitalize off them being fucked up. That's what a pimp right, was, right? Let them, why? Right, exactly. Why let them be fucked up for free? Like <sighs> That's deep. Wow. That's deep. That's, That's the same my... kind of game I put on my son. I tell my son, this society is designed to make money off of you. Now, either you're going to work with it, you're going to create your own way to create your own shit, 
or they're going to make money off of you either way. Either you working in corporate America or you in jail still generating money, but you're going to generate something for them to get. So at some point, you need to figure out how you, you know, factor into the bigger scheme of things, you know. And I tell them the education ain't about what they're teaching you. It's about the relationships you have. If you right now, my son has opportunity to go to Harvard. He got the grades. We had a, a talk with the coach basketball. And at the end of the day, I was telling my son, it ain't because Harvard is whatever. It's the name association and the brand of Harvard that and comes with it. And, and, and it's the network. And while the rel- you're in there. Those exactly. parents own shit. And, and I said in, ten, in 20 years, your roommate, mm-hmm. your dorm mate might be a fucking Supreme Court judge. That's how my little That you can get on the phone and be like, hey, I got a ticket situation <laughs> and it can get handled. Well, the perfect example of that, my brother played college basketball uh, at a school in Connecticut. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was like a white boy school. I'm just keeping it real. Mm-hmm. And he works um, in, um, God damn it, what is that shit? Um, when a show gets a certain amount of episodes, it goes into syndication. syndication. Yeah, he works in the syndication. Oh, as his roommate's father owns that company. Wow, you see what I'm saying? So he's plugged. That's what just it is. by being in that community. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I'm and saying? That's what it is. College is hookups. So look at it in reverse. Look <laughs> at it, if that's how they do it in the big college game and in the big corporate game. What would be the example of how we do it in the shorty low con- uh, consciousness. What I would tell, what I would tell <laughs> um, women in shorty low baby mama situation. Um, I mean, they, they, I think they did all right for themselves. They got a baby by shorty low, and it's, wow. a, it's a lot of girls who got babies by. Um, <laughs> Dude who opened up McDonald's in the morning. So you think that's that's a step up? A baby with shorty low. Well, some girls are proud to have babies by the dude who it's, opened up McDonald's. He got the keys. He opened the door. It's, it's status jacking. So like if a man doesn't give you his last name, if he's not willing to marry you, mm. you have an opportunity to get up in there and jack some status. So even if your status is baby mama... You know what I mean? Once you get knocked up, status he doesn't. You jacket. can hide like out. That. For, that, was, that was vicious. Coined right here by Auntie. <laughs> Auntie comes <laughs> up with status jacket. Yeah, yeah. CC Jeez. that. Yes, yes. <laughs> Y'all tweet that out. Status jacket. It is status jacket though when a woman is smart enough to hang around. Um, let's say but NBA is that players. Smart? Is that smarts um, or manipulation? Both. I like but it. It's a you way gotta to be, be smart. You get to be a good manipulator. A baby knows how to manipulate. Come on now. Got well, mm. society will oh, manipulate yeah. you if you have a baby because Ooh. they will act like you owe that baby something even if you don't know that woman. <laughs> and I never thought that was fair because in the wild, <laughs> God damn it, uh, in the wild, in the wild, God damn it, a coyote could fuck another coyote and be like, "Bitch, that's on you. I'm out here doing what I'm doing when I met you. I'm hunting, uh-huh. bitch. Don't call me about them little motherfuckers. I don't know them." <laughs> But in, uh, in society, we're not in the wild, though. <laughs> this is the wild. <laughs> Go deeper, especially over here off Pico and motherfucking La Brea. This is as wild hey, as it gets. Tell them where we at. We are in a treacherous part of town doing this radio show. We are trying to bring hope to the community over here because God never <laughs> ray of light over right. here. <laughs> These corners uh, uh, run with blood of Ron Burgundy. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know. Come on, man. You got a thousand callers, man. We, we, yeah, let's get some of them because this, this caller right here is, is we're going to bring up Steve from D.C. Steve, you on the line? Hey, yo, what up, man? What's up, man? Are they running that commercial out there? You know I'm be out there Valentine's Day. Yeah, man, I heard that shit the other day, man. <laughs> hey, yo, that's a cold-ass piece you got next to you, too, man. Oh, yeah, auntie. Hey. Auntie, good action. Hey. <laughs> yeah, that, that, hey, that's what I tell the kids. Hey, this is your new auntie. <laughs> 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 This uh, just new IT. Yeah, man. Hey, man, so we talking shit about this Shorty Loke situation. And I do want to say this, Shorty Loke, if you listen to this shit, this is no diss to you, man. We just rapping about the shit and how, you know, your situation. I I, I ain't going to lie. I wish the show was on there because we, hey, we need to see what it is. Why can't we call Shorty Loke hey, to the hey. floor, though? Come hey, on now. You know what, though? Let me tell you this, though, about Carlos, man. Because I'm going to call him Carlos. I'm a grown-ass man. You know his real name? <laughs> Yo, I find it like this. 
<laughs> he got all ten of them hoes in check though, and, and people need to see that shit. That he got ten women, none of them got him on child support, and he take care of all them kids without the man getting involved. That's the big oh one. now see that's, that's why the show got canceled. Now, if you really want to know the truth, now that's a whole nother twist on the get down. That's why the show got canceled because they ain't all knocking him upside the head. Ten baby mamas. No child support, harem, and taking care of them all—that makes him a sultan. Under one roof. Like Under that. one roof? Oh, this is uh, Shorty Bin Laden. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this is. That's why the show got canceled. Know, they don't want black men to be seen in their life. That's like hood sister wives. Let's let's yeah, get I, that I going. The Without the wives. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think Steve <laughs> said some deep shit. Who do you know? I know the second chick. They gotta ask him for stuff. They don't just randomly get checks. They got to ask him for shit. Right. Is like Carlos pimping? Check. It ain't pimping. It's just like he got a lot. If he got a, if you have enough money, how the fuck is somebody going to talk shit to you if you got these women wow. under the roof and they G for it? This is the thing. Right. I need sisters from the hood. I need ghetto sisters from the hood to call us. 323-965-1600. Hey, because this is important. Because what this brother is telling me on the telephone, what Corey is saying right now, to me says... I can buy a sister. No, no, I wait a minute. Right wait, wait. off the goddamn shelf at Walmart, I can buy Ratchet. Just What's come on in. Like flea market. It, it, that's what I'm saying. But wait, I, I have a question because I don't even know who this person is. This so is Steve you're, from DC. No, no, I'm talking about the rapper. <laughs> oh, Carlos. The rapper, shorty. Right. Carlos. <laughs> yes. Oh, um, Carlos. <laughs> does, does that mean he has a lot of money? I would think it's the opposite because if he had a lot of money, a bitch don't have to be bothered with asking. Mm. She would just go to court and I don't have to talk to you. They can take your money. If he doesn't have shit to take, then you got to kind of stay on the good side maybe if, knowing or he gets his money under the table or something uh, like that. So, I mean, I just... That, that's a great point because it sounds like the point you make all the time when you say women date potential. Yeah, but I'm hey, saying like he Carlos has a house. Was in the street for about 15 years before he started rapping. Right. Like, that's why they own Carlos Dick like that. Okay. Mm. He got street status. Yeah, he had street status way before the rap shit. Mm. Okay. Street status means something. Yeah. I mean, people can try to take street status for granted. It's a black but, card. Yeah, um, women know who to fuck with and who not to fuck with. Wow. As I talked about my homeboy Lil June back in the day. By the way, thanks for the call, Steve. My homeboy Lil right. June was crazy than a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Where his baby mama ain't take him to court because she knew he was a killer. Mm -hmm. And goddamn it, he used to come over there and go in their refrigerator. She had a man. Just come right in. Yeah, because he was a problem. <laughs> They was trying to wait him out. Somebody go kill a nigga. <laughs> 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 this nigga still alive. Don't argue with him. Where the rest of the mustard? Right. <laughs> huh? <laughs> he the just walked in. <laughs> I got to get this call in because this is one of them names that lets me know that this is a brother. Abdul from Ohio. This better not be no white dude named Abdul. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> What's up, Corey? What's up, man? What's up, bro? What's that, Mike? The, uh, that's, that's auntie auntie right hey yeah. Yeah, how are you guys <laughs> <laughs> hey Corey man I think that movie uh, The Watermelon Heist man oh that shit yeah you saw that cool shit I did yeah a lot of people upset about <laughs> you yeah, with that you look stupid man what the fuck what could I say, man? I was new to Hollywood, man, and um. Don't make no excuses, Corey. I'm not making any excuses. <laughs> I, I like did a woman. Shit. I was young. I, did I didn't shit. know. The movie, <laughs> was, the movie was called Watermelon Ice. Nobody ever asked me to be in a movie before. I'm, nah, but Corey, a lot of people say okay, you shouldn't okay. have said but nothing Corey, about Jamie Foxx and Django when you oh, did oh, the oh, Watermelon oh, movie. God. You ain't got no right. They oh. called you a hypocrite. That's all I know. And you know what? I could, I could get that. That's I all I know, Corey. People be. You know what? I forgot about the watermelon ice. Wow. We filmed it in about a week. Um, you know, I I didn't I I didn't understand. <laughs> Is that a porno <laughs> schedule? Right, right. I didn't understand how I should have told him, hell motherfucker, no. But Corey, you knew better. You remember how you said about you remember what you said about Django? Mm. Reading the script, you just know like God. Damn it, this ain't me. But it was As soon as you saw some seedless watermelons, you should have known. It was a comedy. It was a comedy. We we was trying to push the envelope. I'm, and, and then again, I'm not making excuses. Yes, yes. But are you really going to compare the watermelon ice 
It's Watermelon Heist. We were the first movie. It was me, JB Smooth, Red Grant. Between Fellows, your first, your opening line when you were standing by the by the porch, though. Do you remember that? No. What was it? Well, you the moment was coming. You were like. Hey, we about to get a welfare check. We about to go out of town and go get some Popeye's. Now they quoting man. straight right, lines, right. man. That's Cold that's classics. This is a whole what? situation going down, Corey. Were you the first Django? I can, I, can, I, can, I can honestly say, I can honestly say, I am humble by that. Yeah, you should be. I, I am humble by that. I forgot about that. <laughs> the watermelon ice. Man. What does I, that man do to the father of Good Times? What is his name? Again? James Evans. James Evans. Can you imagine? <laughs> I don't know his real name. We're going to call him James John Evans. Amos. Can you imagine John being Amos. at a comedy show and John Amos walk up to you after you moved out here and be like, hey, we shooting a movie. I'm like, hey, all right, right. motherfucker. I didn't know. I mean, well, see, I keep saying I didn't know. Yeah, you I didn't know. understand the magnitude of what I was doing at the time was something that I wouldn't feel good about later on. But I, just, I just think about it. You I knew think it's Django, I but think you it's knew Django. John Amos played the grown-up Kunta Kinte. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did you know that was Kunta Kinte? Roots. You know what? I'm not making excuses. I didn't remember that. Oh. Uh, I did not remember. Who that. don't remember Roots? I have the Roots collectible DVD Thank set, you. so he's lying. Wow. <laughs> so watch, I'm just saying, show, Corey, see. you know that that's Roots, and then all you got to do is see Watermelon Heist. Mm. I'm roots. Not making, I'm not making no Watermelon excuses. Heist. I can't do this movie. I'm not making no excuses. I deserve everything that I. Go ahead, Abdul. What'd you say, Abdul? No, but what I'm saying is, like, they do that to all the uh, black actors coming up at first. You know, the, why they, they either make them look gay or do some ridiculous some cool thing. shit. They did you. Wait, yeah. did they do it to Corey or did Corey help him? <laughs> Corey helped him. That's Corey helped him. So yes. Corey, cool. helped him. Corey, Corey is not um, lost where he doesn't know. But I just you are a consenting it. adult. It was not rape. I looked at the time. I want to wow. talk about this. Wow. I looked at it as me and the comedians was just acting silly, doing a movie that we read a script. I, I met John Amos. Right. The next day we went and read the script. Mm -hmm. And the day after that we started shooting it. Right. <laughs> and so it all happened too fast you for you to go, part? nah. Did you read your part before you started <laughs> wow. shooting? You know what, I, honestly, what are we doing? Wait a minute. Stop it. Uh, I'm already in. Wait, and that action. Hurts. Wait, wait, wait. I deserve, I deserve wait. an Oscar for that role because I don't, I don't study. I just was reading the script for we supposed to do this shit, and that was a time when my mind still was strong enough to remember shit. Hilarious. And I did the shit. Wow. The fucking wow. watermelon heist. John Amos, I'm gonna beat your ass when I see you. <laughs> he already got his foot cut off. <laughs> right, shit. That's gonna be an easy win. <laughs> right, you you got shit. callers, man. Hey, thanks, right, caller. Boy. Abdul, way to bring up that point. I love it. I love it when I get caught up. <laughs> Catch me up. I don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck. I'm not perfect. I'm, I feel stupid. And that. Abdul wasn't even a woman. Shut up, auntie. <laughs> 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 Hilarious. <laughs> we got another caller. We got Macaroni. <laughs> Macaroni, where you from? Nashville. Nashville. That's what's up. I love going to Nashville. Tennessee, man. Volunteer. Fucking Come on. with Zadies out there. I have a ball when I go to Nashville. Fuck with my boy Sebo. He be on. Oh. oh, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, what's up, brothers? What's up, Auntie? Hello. Hey, I was kind of pissed off when I saw that show. The little shit wasn't coming on. I mean, that was coonery at its finest, but I wanted to see that train wreck. <laughs> see? Man, you yeah, know, he's you great like point. Me, man. You like me. I want to see a brother in charge. Yeah, only part of my head is this nigga got a girlfriend in 19, and he got a kid that's 20 in 19. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Huh? What's wrong with that? <laughs> well, God damn, you, you gonna have a girlfriend in the same house as your kids that's the same age, and they both going to the club together? But look, that's before great. your daughter go to the club with your girlfriend, you fuck the shit out your girlfriend and sit on out there with your daughter. Y'all go to the club now. Mm, mm. <laughs> 19 together and shit and you know older women get mad when you got younger girls they act like something wrong with you older women you, and you be dating them right. young ones something must be wrong with you to think I mean to even look at her like that well you're a little ripe around the eyes so <laughs> I think I'm gonna need to <laughs> 
And if he bring her out at 19, you know that means he's been fucking her since she was 16 to 17. Okay, see, he done let the backwoods of Tennessee ease up. Yeah, right. Hey, we talk about Georgia. We talk about Georgia. I see. <laughs> hey, I think a girl's 16, though. She's too young and shit. Right. You know, people would judge. <laughs> Oh, God. Anyway, yeah, hey, Macaroni, thanks for the call, man. We we, we up in here. We up in here talking shit. I want to ask y'all another question, man. And I want y'all, we're going to keep these callers coming in, but I want y'all to think about this shit. Kim Kardashian, uh, Kanye West get a lot of fucking um, flack about fucking with Kim Kardashian. And I want everybody to think about this question. Is Kim Kardashian a bad catch no. to be a woman? She is. is she a she bad is. catch? I want you don't to think, think she about is? that. No. You think she's a good catch? For a man. Kim Kardashian. Yes. Kim Kardashian. Is she a bad catch? She, uh, listen, she's turned prostitute into main prostitution into mainstream. She, she showed didn't, she her showed, mother did. She pimped her out. Yeah, but she showed how to be a hoe can work. And make what, what, But I saw the why movie. Make, why be a bro code? Why be a bro code? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know if, if I want to marry a hoe though. But you don't know that they're a hoe. When they're in private, they don't tell you. You probably fucked a woman who already fucked this 50 niggas be. and didn't tell nobody, but she's fucking getting she's paid. She's a public hoe. She's right. a public hoe, and, wow. she, and she is showing off the, the spoils. I saw the movie Trading Places, and Dan Aykroyd was down <laughs> on his luck, uh-huh. and old girl played a hoe. Oh, and yeah. she the one who got him back on his feet. A hoe with right. the heart of gold. So when you are judging hoes... So are you telling me a hoe makes a really great woman? What I'm saying is... Oh, she has a lot of money. And hoe, she likes you. A mm. hoe can help you. A hoe can help you. Mm. A hoe can help you. Kind of like a life coach. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a hoe know a lot of shit. This is deep. <laughs> A hoe know a lot of shit. What it is, I think a lot of men want the ideal woman that hasn't been passed around mm. so he can feel like he got something that's all his own. Right. And you but it doesn't fuck happen legally, in right. You right. can't be fucking ten year olds legally. So you so since wow. that's really not an option, you might as well I'm, I'm just saying, like nowadays it goes the the age has lowered. There's a lot of You can't men. really get a female who hasn't fucked around a lot. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of men who yeah, think they're, they're, that they're fucking early not and early. married to a hoe. Right. <laughs> Wow! Like I, I wouldn't but, marry a hoe. But, but that goes back. The, they don't know the vaginal history. Of right. Who they right. That's married. the difference. That, and that goes back public. to the point I make in reverse to men. I tell women, stop dating your ideas and date a real man. You know, I tell men the same thing. Just because she's presented in a certain package, j- that doesn't mean you really know who this person is. After I take this call, Zoe, I want to ask you about your ideal woman. Right now, we got Shit. Big Mike from North Kakalaka on the phone. Big Mike, what it do? Big Mike. Big Mike. Sound kind of homosexual calling a nigga Big Mike. Get that motherfucker. <laughs> Big Mike. Big come Mike. Here, Big Mike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard a baby. Shit, did Shorty Low call in? Yeah. Hello? We don't hear nothing. We here, baby. Yeah, yeah. Hello? Is that little Shardy Love? Oh, we heard it some. Hello? Okay. Hello? Yeah. Hey. Hello? Yeah, Hello? Hey, Big Mike. Oh, no, this ain't Big Mike. I, y'all must have got the lines crossed. This is uh, Claudio calling out of Houston. Wait a minute, nigga. Your name Claudia? Claudio. Claudio. Oh, Claudio. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My bad, brother. I ain't mean no harm. Wait a minute, nigga. Your name Claudia. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hold on. We got to skip this call. No, just... <laughs> hey, 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 Claudio, you been listening, right? No, I actually, I just got home. I had my lost and I just got home from running errands, and I just was trying to catch the show. I don't even know the title, honestly. I was just calling to give you and Zoe a shout-out. Okay, well, since doing. you don't know what's happening and you're sending a shout-out, let us ask you a question. Have okay. you ever um, ate pussy from the back? Have I ever? Yeah. <laughs> you have? Okay, well, you're a real nigga. Yeah, listen to the rest of the show and get back at it. That's real nigga. I just wanted to validate him since he didn't hit the rest of the Ooh. shit. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> hey, hey, this is the 5150 Tragedy Hour. <laughs> Who in, who did? Hello? Yeah. What it yeah. do? Hello? Hey, who we talking to? Hey, they're hot from Georgia, nigga. What's happening? What up, man? 
Shit, I can't call it, man. I know you heard all that shit we were saying about Atlanta. Say what? I know you heard all that shit we were saying about Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I, but I ain't no Atlanta nigga. I just moved up here for for a job and shit. God damn it. So fuck them Atlanta niggas, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree with all that shit, man. Fuck them niggas, man. Right. But, uh, yeah, man. Uh, that shot is low shit, man. Hey, they should have let that nigga keep his show, dog. I, I, I think at the end of the day, man, that nigga was keeping it. He was feeding all the sick kids. You seen all the kids? All the kids was fat as hell. Yeah. They were eating. The he said the kids together. was fat as hell. <laughs> how, the, how the hell you got eight out of ten of your baby mamas coming together every Sunday and eating Sunday dinner together? Like, goddamn, somebody's doing something, right? Them you know kids, mm. so them kids, be as bad as they tried to make it, man. That was, that was some straight shit, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah. on the surface, it looked like it could have been a train wreck, but it might have been something, you know, I, I think, relevatory and educational if the dude was running his household and making sure that everybody was provided for. I would have been interested to see what the social game rules for that household was like. So he could make, like, an instructional video. Since it's been canceled, he could probably just, like, put something How like that out there. How to gather your hold. Yeah, 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 straight like that. Wait, do you hear the caller though? Uh, yeah, 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 straight, uh, straight like that. Damn it, uh, Kanye shit. Hey man, Kanye got too much money to be fucking around with old average ass hoe, man. I like that. That'd be cool for a nigga like me huh? or these other niggas right here. I see at the wing spots and shit, you know. But you I agree with him. Man. You just you just out here fuck with old public hoe and shit, man. Like, what is she? He better be juicing that bitch. That's all I'm saying, man. Wow. Yeah, they, they 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 need not let him. You know what? The uh, the call is breaking up. You know, you said something okay. earlier that was very important, Auntie. Hey, hey, thank, Status thanks, jacket. Thanks, thanks for the call, brother. Because he, he said some deep shit though he about did. public hole. And let me tell you something. Mm. That is the problem that men have when everybody know your dirt. When everybody know your dirt, every. People who are looker-ons be like, oh, that's your girl? Oh, shit, everybody be fucking her. You wow. know what I'm saying? Wow. So that's the problem, in my opinion, that men have, uh, especially in this Kanye West, Kim Kardashian situation, even though I feel like Kanye went and got with um, the Kardashian lady just to try to make it seem like he got somebody of status. Yeah, and see... And, so was and, he the status jacker? That's what it sounds like to me. Kind it sounds like he's a status jacker from somebody whose status, in my opinion, is lower than his. And at the end of the day, there's the, the, who are we to judge? It could be real love. It could be authentic. It could be true. It could be the person for him. But at the end of the day, when you have a superficial basis, you know, to work from, chances are that relationship ain't gonna last it ain't gonna it ain't it ain't gonna it ain't gonna stay because it's based off of superficiality i mean i, I look at kim kardashian i don't think she's a dumb broad but she she doesn't seem to be the type of person that's gonna hold my attention for any no longer than five or ten minutes unless she gets naked so what else can she bring to the table other than her celebrity other than her status how does she help she some her money. pussy and her money what, 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 what? pussy I mean, there's more pussy women? on the planet than there is water. But we don't have come any man, special. So you think most men have a woman who that has more qualities than their pussy? I'm, I'm just I'm not calling most what I'm women saying dumb. Is, I'm just saying what, like what, what I'm saying is men seem to pussy, think that that's unique. That that's not that. What I'm saying is pussy is so abundant for men that it's more. It's like a side dish. But hold on, so is it or is it just you pick that. the pussy? That's one. Pussy is everywhere, yes. no doubt. But why do equal. people settle for one pussy in particular? I think maybe that's why you can't say all pussy is the same. It might be literally the same, mm. but it's not the same to everybody. Well, like this pussy, again, I want to be with this pussy, but I want to fuck that pussy. But I think when when I want to be with the pussy, that means there are other intangibles that are connected to it. And that's it could what be, I want to know. Can you give us some examples of a woman yeah. that Zoe would? Um, value other than a pussy hole? First off, she's got to be introspective. She has to be smart. This is the 5150 show. Yes. You fucked our callers up with that they got Okay. They Explain gotta... introspective. They think that think bitch can deeply. shoot a ray gun. <laughs> All right. Let's do it another way. She can think oh! deeply. Let's do it another way. Let's do it another way. A ray gun. The victim blames, right? The accountable person claims. Whenever I'm with a woman who can claim her shit... 
that's a sign of strength. And to me, it'll make the sex action better mm-hmm. because I know it's not about what I did or I'm here to save you from your situation. We're, you, so you, you understand? Say, you wait a minute. You say I farted when you was eating. No, no, wait. So, wait. <laughs> so the difference is you want I a woman who's that. not going to nag you and, and criticize you. I mean, that that's really, I if want you a said woman, she can claim her own shit, she yes. won't bother you. Yes. And you can fuck her without... The drama. Right. And I want her to be intelligent. I want her to be flexible. I I mean, there's research out there that'll tell you relationships that last have flexible beliefs. When the beliefs are inflexible, that's where conflict comes. Because you got two people that believe something when they start this motherfucker. But at the end of the day, people are always changing and growing and evolving. So if your beliefs aren't doing the same thing, your relationship will find a space where there's conflict. That's what's going to happen. So beliefs have to be flexible. She has to be open to new ideas. She's got to read well, yeah, not a fucking magazine, not a goddamn pop sugar website. You got to read <laughs> something. What about Facebook? Can she read Facebook? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Shorty just. Show got canceled. Did you know that? <laughs> Did you know? <laughs> That's on my timeline. No, you got to read. And, and, and I'm just saying there has to be a spiritual pursuit in the woman. To me, that enhances the sex act. That what is enha- spiritual? What is that? I'm what sorry. I mean by spirituality, I don't mean a religion. Religious hypocritical zealot. Jesus is good, right? It on Sunday, but then on Saturday, let Jesus me suck you dick. The way. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? It, I want a person that's authentic in themselves, and, and, and it's it's hard to find, man. It's hard to find. You got a lot of actors and actresses out there playing the part for each other, and then faking it until they making it until the relationship breaks down. Mm-hmm. That's, you know, and I respect that. A lot of stuff you Yeah, you, come on, Auntie. Give me some. Tea? Come on, Auntie. <laughs> ah. I don't know about that. No, I mean, I respect that that's what you want. That's what I want. Yeah, and, and what everybody wants is different because I want somebody to understand that I know what the fuck I'm talking about every time I open my motherfucking mouth. Whether I'm right or wrong, you need to listen to what the fuck I say. I'm like Prince Father in Purple Rain. <laughs> you do what I say. That's what I want. Hysterical. <laughs> Don't I keep the heat on? Oh, God. <laughs> Are you saying, Corey, that in your relationship... I ain't going to blow my brains out. You're a tyrant. What is a tyrant, though? It's your way or the highway. Th- is that the definition of tyrant? I'm going to look that shit up. Look it up. Are you tyrannical in your rule? I thought a tyrant is a new tire. Okay. So, it talks a lot. He just playing. Come yeah. on now. A, a tyrant. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm a tyrant, though. I think I'm a flexible guy, like you said, but yeah. um, I just know what the fuck I'm doing out here. Right. right. You know what I mean? No, I get it. Look, what what look. kind of guy are you looking for, Auntie? <laughs> One who will do my bidding. Wow. Now she's a tyrant. Okay, yeah. That is a tyrant. Yeah. Anyway, we got to get ready to take a break. I want everybody to think about that shit I said, though, about the, the uh, Kim Kardashian. Is that a good catch? Is that a good catch? I think yeah. she's a good catch because she I got that know. paper. I think so, too. So the paper makes her a good catch. You motherfucking right. So right. then that means Vanessa uh A rich hoe is always better than a broke hoe. <laughs> Remember that. Yeah. We'll be back. That was game right there. (laughs) Two times on Sundays. (laughs) Hey, are you tired of those same old energy drinks with bad taste? Make a switch to Pitbull Energy Drink with a guaranteed no aftertaste. Pitbull offers more energy with ginseng and vitamins B6 and B12. With a ginger ale, lemon lime flavor, Pitbull meets the consumer's demand for better tasting and healthier energy products with a guaranteed no aftertaste. Make a switch to Pitbull Energy Drink. Pitbull offers more energy with ginseng and vitamins B6 and B12. With a ginger ale, lemon lime flavor, Pitbull meets the consumer's demand for better tasting and healthier energy products. For more information on Pitbull Energy Drinks, bars, and mixes, visit their website at hiphopbev.com. That's hiphopbev.com. Online orders available at hiphopbev.com.
We are back. That was another beat from Zoe's homeboy. It surely wasn't. No, it's Def Jeff. Def Jeff. Legendary producer yes. Def Jeff. You talking about Def Jeff? The Def Jeff. Oh, who the fuck that is? <laughs> <laughs> I heard Def Jeff. I Hey, um, <laughs> this was cracking, man. We got a lot of calls. We're going to get everybody a chance to get in. Um, who's the next caller? One. One? Is that, is that, is that G? Is that G from Atlanta again? G? Yeah, it's me, man. What's up, brother? Hey, man, I had to, I, I wanted to clarify something about the, um, the shorty low shit, but I'm going to answer the Kim Kardashian shit. Kim Kardashian is a good catch for a nigga who never had anything. Mm. She's not a catch for a nigga that's balling. If I have a hundred million, I mean, fucking you and fucking with you are two different things. Y'all, Ooh. fuck you. But you're not about to be my bitch. You ain't gonna be shouldering her like Kanye, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Kanye, he has his own money. Now, if he just wanted to hit and have sex with her in public and, and you know, and bring her down, yeah, that's cool. That's some player shit. But you're not about to fuck Ray J, fuck this nigga publicly, and be my bitch. Go kill yourself, ho. Yeah, I feel you. damn, I feel you. that's real wow. shit. Now, on the um, Shorty Low thing, the reason they had to cancel it with y'all being in L.A. and knowing about budget, the ignorance was so high that the budget was getting out of hand. Number one, um, the nigga, he looked like he combed his hair with a rock. So the Beijing they had to buy was going to take him out of budget. The, the WIC vouchers were going to take him out of budget. The WIC vouchers. so country that even though they spoke Stop. English, they still had to type it on the screen. All that shit cost. <laughs> well, was he producing the show himself? I mean, was, was anybody behind the show? He said, was there... he said the Beijing was going to take them out of budget. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga, the, the, the hair every week was going to be $10,000 in Beijing alone. <laughs> and then the, the Forever 21 vouchers, the clothes they had on, was going to take them out of budget. <laughs> and the Indian Remy hair they were going to have to get from the beauty supplies is about 100000 so they over budget even before the show starts. I thought this dude was for real. He that came in here and did a three minute set. Right. <laughs> but that was, you know, that was no, I'm dead man. So you, everybody who knows about budget, you know, as I it's not like you have ten bad bitches and all you have to buy is leave-in conditioner. Right. You gotta buy Indian Remy every week. Yeah. Did he say leave-in conditioner? Is what he said to make the bitches presentable. We'll put the show out of budget. Oh no, God! Right. <laughs> Yeah, man, so that, that's the thing. That you had to deal with budget, and it wasn't going to last. And then you got to think about all, all the kids got to eat. And the influence is just going to take them out of budget. Wow. They, that was a good point, G. We got a lot of calls. We're going to give okay, it to you. That was a good point. That was a good point. All right. Uh, who's the next caller? This Oh, this is Steve from another Atlanta caller. Steve, what's cracking? Yo, what up, Corey, man? What it do, man? Um, uh, y'all talking all shit about Atlanta, but it's true. <laughs> um, I want to say about uh, Charlie Lowe. You know what? I think that the reason they ain't going to do the show is because his ass is going to get caught fucking around with Section 8 and all that other shit with housing and all that. Because I know he said he in the street, but ain't no way in hell he got 10 bitches in there that I, they ain't getting welfare. They ain't getting food stamps and shit. So I think maybe he, maybe he said nah. Right, he ain't want to put that. He ain't want to put that illegal shit on blast. If they got on TV, <laughs> right? Oh God, the bitches got gas bills in the kids' name and all that shit. Would have brought too much <laughs> yeah, attention yeah. to the <laughs> to the hookup, to the fraudulent <laughs> get down. Right, exactly. Niggas, ten girls, and they all look stink. Like they all look like they take baths in the same bathwater and shit. Recycle. Well, you, I, I'm willing to bet. I'm willing to bet that some of them fuck with each other. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Gotta, but you know that Kanye thing, though. I think he just said, fuck it. I can't do no better. I'm going to just go ahead. And every dude want a hoe. Everybody want a Every dude want a yeah. fucking hoe. They want a girl to be like a hoe, I mean. They want a freak. And so he just said, fuck it. In, in my age right now, and my status right now, I just need to go ahead and just get with this one. But what he, about, what he, about he, it? Like real easy control. Like, he can do anything with this bitch. Tell her, shut up, sit down. No, 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 but what uh, about if know. they go somewhere and they see old boy Humphreys? Chris. Yeah, Chris Humphreys. Right. What if they go somewhere and they see him? 
What if they? What? Ain't that awkward? Oh, it don't matter. I mean, I don't it don't matter. matter. Listen, this video. Kim's still married. Listen, and Kim, she's, she's, she's still so married. That's not. And, and when the baby comes, she's still gonna be married. They gonna have a baby before she get a divorce from Chris. Well, What's going on? How is she a good catch? Just cause she got money. Yes. Somebody now talk yes. to us about I this. I don't think she's a good catch because of money. I think she's a good catch for him because he just said, "Fuck it, I, just, I can't, I can't just no better." But I might as well get a freak out of it. I, I think. And the fucked up thing, no listen, no shit. Is that she don't even like his music? That's fucked up. Yeah, you can't I mean, tell me you like his shit. Man, man. Okay. You know, I, and this, this is what. And, and by the way, that's a good opinion too, J Rock. I mean, uh, I mean, uh, is this this? This, this is Steve from Atlanta. Steve, I'm sorry. Yeah. Your opinion, I, I get it. Thanks for the call. But what I want to say about that whole thing is this. I don't think Kanye is doing this for shine. I think he genuinely is putting his heart into this shit. I agree, shit. and I think he has so much money, he doesn't give a fuck what other people talk about. Right. He don't care if they if what they talk so about. So money... He wants her. He wants her. So having so much money could really just blind you, I see. Blind you or allow you to ignore the haters. He doesn't care. Yeah, but he'll care when the train wreck, you know, reaches its destination. That's when he'll care. But why has it got to be a train wreck? You, you, you don't. Okay. This is you. You don't see it coming. A yeah. lot of public. Do you dicks? see it coming? I'm, I'm I definitely saying, see it coming. I think. Do she, it I think that she is the true definition of an ain't shit bitch. That's but, but. The problem is this motherfucker thinks that he has what it takes to take her off ain't shit status. Right. But this Isn't bitch was that what a, there's a shit. lot of men. So he Captain Save a hold in. There's a lot of men who think that they have what it takes to right. fix somebody. Right. I mean vice versa. I mean it but broken people can't fix other broken people. Right. Yeah, but you don't think you're broken. Broken people don't think they're broken. So you can't see your own cracks is what you're saying. Correct. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, I like that. Kanye is t-shirt. Kanye is <laughs> t-shirt designs. Kanye is a, is a creative dude. Yeah. Um, he, he's he, he he gets things done, but I really think he's over his head because I feel like his heart is into it. I think Let he me wanted ask you a baby this. with good hair. That's Hust, what I think. He, he wanted. He got the girl with the ponytail. Corey, <laughs> we talking about. Let me let me ask you this. Do you think that either one of them? Kim or Kanye are underachieving in terms of their aspirations of a mate. Like, if I'm from Chicago and I see the image of Obama and and Michelle, I'm thinking, damn, there's got to be more than one Mich Michelle. I'm talking about demeanor, right. personality, ambition, you know, got to be more than one. And then when you finally get around to a Kim... How how does she stack up to Michelle, and how do you settle on that? What makes you think that Kanye is comparable to Obama? In that he just because he makes right. money and makes music, they both they're both gutter. Right. But I'm they're talking about trashy. the aspiration. So you're saying two trashy people got together? Maybe his is aspiration is to make money. That doesn't make you. I mean, that my, doesn't. But my vision of the Obamas is that's another sham. I don't feel like she likes him. She is just too. <laughs> Um, now a lot of people disagree with you woman. on this though, Corey. She is too good a woman to shame him publicly while he president. But there's no we look. Think of all of the black women that you know. Mm -hmm. How many of them can? How many of them do you know can be proud of a man who allows people to disrespect him publicly in his face like that? Wait a minute, Corey. I think. I'm just saying, it's like it, it builds tension because you he never agree, says nothing. That's a political but, platform, right? But do you agree that power is addictive to women? Definitely, just power, right? Definitely, that's the most powerful man in the world. Whether people are disrespecting him or not, he's How is still the most, most powerful man in the world. He sits that some bitch the at strongest the airport, aphrodisiac. He sits her in his face, but he sits in that seat, he has and no I power. think. I think to me, I, agree. I think to me that would make Michelle content. Well, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, my man's the president. But he's not going to be in that seat forever. No, he's not. And everything that happened while he was in that seat is obvious. And you can't act like it's not happening. I'm not saying <laughs> that you're supposed to go around punching out everybody that disrespects you. Right. But he seems to have no backbone when it comes to speaking up for himself and even her as people have attacked her. 
How the fuck can you be somebody where your job makes it where you can't say what? How fuck can you, you take the time to address all the haters? I was I about mean, to say, when at what point do you? Ha- it's like the, it's the Steve Harvey response to Cat Williams. When Steve Harvey said, you know, the dog is barking at the moon, it would really be something if the moon barked at the dog. Steve the moon Harvey doesn't wasn't have to. talented enough to deal with Cat Uh-oh. Williams. Uh-oh. If he was talented <laughs> enough to shame Cat Williams with his mouth, he, he would have. Wow. He wasn't talented enough. Wow. That's, That's, a, great That's uh, a great point. That's a great point. Wow. Ladies. So you take the high road because that's the only road he could So take. you're saying the only road Obama can take is the high road or are you saying... No, what I'm saying is Obama doesn't have, and I got this word from Farrakhan, and there was some deep shit when he said it. Obama doesn't have the testicular fortitude. Oh, Jesus. To be respected by <laughs> anybody Auntie. who, watches, who Auntie. watches him allow people to talk and treat him like that. This right. is if about to be job, real good. If your job has you in a position where you can't speak up for yourself, you need another motherfucking job. Wow. Even if it's the president of the United States. What the fuck is the presidency of the United States if you can't even speak up on shit that you know he wow. should have been spoke up on by now? Auntie, do you agree or disagree? Oh, shit. Hold no on. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't going to say that. I just want to say something. Let everybody know. <laughs> yeah, I just told you, man. The 5150 show. Oh, man. no. It's about to get ignorant. A true icon. Uh, legend. Just the road, about to jump in this shit. A legend. I don't know how much shit he can say. He got, he got I got to go to uh, to work in the morning. So right. I, right. I we got J. Anthony Brown oh, in the house. Oh, the J. Get spot. Up, J. Brown. I sure yeah. am. You motherfuckers I, clap it out. I, 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 I can't be saying shit that'll get caught. Right. I mean, you know, not to be on the air in the morning. So, but uh, some of what you say is right. I understand what you're saying. I really do. I mean, oh, which one are you talking about? The president. You're talking about the president. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's 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 as if they don't have the respect for him to say what they know he needs to say because he's black. Basically, is what it is. You know, you're and a man, Jay. Yeah, you're they're not. Man. Yeah, yeah. You're not gonna let people say certain things to you uh-huh. without addressing it, yeah. even if I mean, just because this. You can't you can't be sitting publicly in some forum and somebody is calling you out in a way where you know uh-huh. it's venom behind it, right. et cetera, et cetera, without saying something because you don't have the things that you don't have the same thing to lose as him. He doesn't want to lose that. He wants the people to vote for him. Right. So he has to shut up. That right. makes you look weak. Okay, but why opinion. why do you think he he reacts the way he does? Because he wants to well. He wanted to be reelected. Yes. He wanted to be accepted. Mm-hmm. And because of those weaknesses, right. he can't do what he should, he, what he should do. Be but doing. could it be that he wanted to not necessarily look weak, but actually look strong by not responding to something that's beneath him? Can I say this about that? When so- <laughs> sometimes when somebody don't respond to something that's beneath them, right. you can tell that's what that person is doing. But... When I see Obama, I don't see somebody not responding because somebody is beneath him. I see somebody not responding because he's worried about the backlash that will come now, if he becomes now, I agree with you a there. man. Now, yeah, I, I ain't even said a black no, man. If he becomes a man. Now, I agree with you there, J. Anthony Brown. You can chime in on this as well. I said this is the first time in the American presidency that you had a sitting president that was worried about stereotypes if i go off on you now i'm the angry black man right i'm that stereotype and i think his administration was keen to tell him don't feed into that and this is the first clinton bush reagan these are guys that we're white people all the presidents are white we don't have to worry about stereotypes obama does and if he pops off in the wrong way so so when when do you think he'll get angry to the point where He'll be reacting the way you think he should react. I think in the last two weeks of his presidency, (laughs) (laughs) he's going to be that dude. I think on two... Now now get this damn Peyton out of here. (laughs) In 2018, when he hosting the BET Awards, (laughs) I think he's going to be saying stuff like, I should have checked the shit out there, motherfucker, when it matters. That's what I think. 
That's what I think. That's my opinion, Jay. <laughs> and Jay, you know what? I'm saying there's a lot of people who's behind Obama. Yes. And I'm not Did you did them. you did you vote for Obama? Fuck no. You did not vote for Obama. I do not participate in voting in this country. Why, Corey? Because I feel like it is it is. <laughs> but it, how about this? How about this? That I understand what you're saying. But a lot of things and a lot of your freedoms were achieved because people could vote. Liberties. He doesn't believe Liberties, it. not freedom. So, it's a shame. I, mean, I understand now you reached the point where you don't vote and that's your choice. I understand that. But do you think about what people went through? A lot of shit. So that, like, it's eight they niggas in the list. Shit. I'm talking about, <laughs> here it is, 19, <laughs> 19 <laughs> come on, Jay. Two, 2013, and we got, what, 10 niggas in a room on the radio. Right. right. And ain't nobody knocking at the door. We ain't hoshing you, you know, shishing and shit. We're talking right. loud and saying, what the fuck you want? Right. And that's because somebody voted so you could have 10 niggas in a room doing what the fuck we do. Uh, and, and you know what, Jay? Okay. I disagree with that because <laughs> I yeah. believe that. Yeah, All them is. people who march to uh-huh. vote, what it is, back when people used to march, there used to be a lot of bad bitches out there marching. Bad bitches. So dudes used to be like, man, I'm finna go march, man. Here's another, thing. Here's another, uh-huh. here's another thing. You're absolutely right. I've heard people. <laughs> you I've heard, there, I've heard men. No, I wasn't there. I've heard men who say that the best time and the most pussy you could ever get was at the rally. Was at the rally. And everybody act like that's a joke. No, but it's not a when joke. When Martin Luther King used to be out there marching, that hey, was the nightclub. You're club. right. You're absolutely right. right because right. you'd have singers out. You had Sammy Davis Jr. out there. Yeah. You had Halle Berry, Halle had Berry Fonte women out there. Guilt. White women wow. who just probably had never fucked a black man right. said, look, we don't know what's going to happen mm-hmm. tomorrow. You're absolutely right. I but, just sprayed down with the hose with that pussy. That's what they used to be thinking. But all of that happened. Is for that me. what the civil rights movement we was all about? We didn't say that's what it was about. It we're was saying that's what happened <laughs> while they were doing other shit. What about right. all the rumors? It was the civil with, rights freak Nick. There were rumors that Martin Luther <laughs> King yeah. had a lot of women. Yeah. Wow. On the oh, days shoot. when Coretta wanted to march, they were arguing. Bitch, you know I got shit to do. I don't need you out there with me. I mean, come on, man. This is what happened. Bitch, I ain't I, tell me that. I got to march in the morning. What the fuck? He ain't want her marching that day. That you you know how it is out there. Right. You see how these motherfuckers are. I don't want them spraying you down with all these dogs biting you and shit. Oh, God. This, this is my job. Let me have a look. You stay at the house with these kids, right? You don't need to be in this shit. This is not for you. Every real man know Martin Luther King oh. took Coretta. Out there to Mississippi, so she'll be scared to march again. He took her to one of them real <laughs> fucked up states. Got a hit with a brick and shit, just so she won't be out there. Then that wound healed up and, and she that, wanted to that march is the Atlanta. same. That is the same thing you can do if you're a comedian. You take your lady on the road, you take her to the shittiest hotel right. in the shittiest room where the ice machine is down the motherfucking hall hooked up to an outside wall. Right. And you you send her down there for that goddamn ice and she come back. She said, this how you live? This right. is how we do it every goddamn day. Every well, I don't even come no more. Hey, Jay, well, I, I, I just want to say... coming from the bathroom the niggas hollering at her in the other room. Who you here with? Where that ass at? Come sit on this <laughs> she won't want to come with you, no I just want to say happy birthday, Martin Luther King. Yes, Martin Luther King birthday, yes, man. Yes, man. I told his head right off. Yeah, happy birthday. Hey, Martin Luther King somewhere right now looking down like, he's right, boy. What's my hoes? What's my hoes? I had a dream. Yeah, about all them hoes. <laughs> I used to do a joke, and it's, it's, it's a fact. Oh, this is a fact. This is a sick-ass joke. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm going to tell it. I'm ready. That it was reported. It was reported on the night that Martin Luther King died assassination. That assassination that the night before he had a threesome wow mm-hmm. oh, okay this is a sick fucking joke and the joke is that's where the speech came from <laughs> three at last three at last <laughs> Wow. Classic. <laughs> Thank well, God Almighty. I had three three at last. Three at last. Oh, I better damn. inspire that dude. He was thinking about that ass while he was standing up there on that podium. That's what gave him the momentum to keep uh, going like that. I've been to the mountain. Simony. Uh, 
Yeah, it's very sexual when you hear, if you break it down. I've been to the mountaintop. Right. 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 <laughs> that, hey, that, that is the mountaintop. A dude having a threesome. I bet he didn't even have to pay for it. Yeah. If he did, yeah. it ain't cost that much back then. But not to defame the birthday. And it's too, it's much, too, too late. late for that. Huh? <laughs> it's just already tall up. <laughs> no. Why? Listen, can can we just say Barack Obama? For the position that he's in, and we understand what it is, Corey. The dude is doing what he's supposed to do. He ain't doing nothing outside of what he's supposed to do. Right. If he did do something outside of what he's supposed to do, he would be out of there. That's how I see it. Yeah. So they gotta the have somebody use, that's gonna play ball. What is what is his use if speaking Use to who? Use to us? No, yeah, his use to anybody if 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 you say if he does anything out of what he's supposed to do, <laughs> <laughs> what is his use? How can he help anybody as the president? I don't think he's about help. It's about an agenda. It's about keeping government rolling. It ain't got nothing to do with the right, citizenry. Right. It, I mean, like I said before, President Barack Obama is like a Django doll. It's it, he's like a, a symbol of something, just like the Django doll symbolizes some shit that makes us mad. The Obama doll symbolizes what makes us happy. Oh, that's how black men are supposed to be seen across the world. The global image. I think that's what Barack Obama represents. As far as Barack coming to the hood and crying because kids is getting killed in Chicago, <laughs> he ain't going to be doing all that. That ain't even his get down. Right. <laughs> this is a Harvard grad, constitutional law. He about keeping that paper straight. That's what this is. All right, we're going to get some callers in. Capital. <laughs> we, 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 um, Jay Rock, are you on the line? Jay Rock from Chicago. Uh, yes, I am. Y'all talking about the two most interesting to topics in society, pussy and politics. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, That's what's up. I want to say, uh, Zoe, you described, uh, going back to the Kim Kardashian and uh, Kanye West situation, the type of woman that you say is for you is exactly who Kim Kardashian is. Wrong. Never mind, never mind her clown car pussy. Never mind that. Like you say, that's her a side clown thing. car pussy. Clink. What are you talking about? <laughs> said, never car mind her clown, clown car, car pussy. Ta town car pussy. Everybody get in and yeah. out the town car. Yeah, but uh, okay, and, and, and clown, clown car. Okay. Just a gang of clowns falling out the box. Wow. Yeah. I never heard that one before. Go deeper. You're right. Her pussy, her money. Those are side dishes. But you said something about a woman owning her own, not physically or, or monetarily or, or, or materialistically, but she comes across as a female who owns up to her own shit, if you will. Chris, I'm so she, yeah, I, I see what you're saying, but that doesn't fit for me. She's a little too dense for me. So that's just, you know. Nobody, no, not one person has ever tried to fuck her because she knew E equals MC squared. Nobody right, even right. went after her like that. So they, pretty much, pretty much. We don't know that. Unless we know her personally. We well, really she's made a business off of she, revealing I mean, her personal she, life. She yeah. knows what she's doing. I mean, all the guys that she gets, it leads to another guy, to another step. I don't think it's haphazardous for her. I right. think her yeah. pussy is proof that she is not stuck up. Right. Absolutely. And you see the tape. She's doing what most most of us guys want our women to do in the bedroom. She's taking nothing in the mouth and in the face. She's she letting you go up in the air. Okay, let me ask you this. Wow. Would you, porn, would you, would you take a nut in your face to better your career? Your <laughs> 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 man turn that down. Banana eating. Did you hear what Brother J. Anthony Brown asked <laughs> you? Hear that, you? Man, the, the room is that you have unsurmountable wealth. All you got to do is take a nut in the face. Well, whatever you answer, she did that. Right. So, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and taking a and nut in the face. to a lot of guys. It's not the end. You can what, recover. What we want our women to do. Wow. You know what? You can get guys. You can get guys to be phony <laughs> if you ask them. Hey, for a million dollars, would you let a man nut in your face? <laughs> And most guys oh. are going to say, hell, motherfucking no, don't even come at me like that. But when everybody walk away, they're going to be like, hey, man, let me ask you something. Right. 
<laughs> Let me holler at you over heist. here. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do hey, watermelon man. heist? <laughs> about not that everybody's gone. About to snuck. <laughs> <laughs> what part of the face? Right. <laughs> you, you don't like me or no shit. You just this 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 a business transaction, right? <laughs> eyes <laughs> open and eyes closed. <laughs> you, you, you got the money here. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't coming at me, you, right? You, you got the money here. <laughs> You got, you got it with you? Where? Right, let, let me see it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Give me a deposit. <laughs> uh, Do you I ain't, get you half? ain't filming this or no shit like that, right? <laughs> I get half up front, right? <laughs> it ain't got to go in my mouth. I can close my eyes and everything. You just right. want a nut on my face. Wow. Okay, well, go ahead, G. Do that shit. Do that shit, G. <laughs> let know. me hold the bag while you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I count the money before? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. My Callers, man. Come on. You know they want to talk to Jay Anthony, man. Jay. <laughs> well, the next caller is Daryl from Brooklyn. Let's get one of these East Coast calls. <laughs> Daryl, you're on the 5150. What's cracking? What's going on? Hey, what up, man? <laughs> not much, not much. That uh, Kim Kardashian thing funny as hell, man. I just think he infatuated by the bitch, to be honest with you. Uh, my my buddy Chris Paul said, you know, they bought an $11 million house. Chris Paul, a comedian out of D.C. Right. Okay. He said they just bought this $11 million house, and that house is just like Kim Kardashian. It has a nice back room. It's very <laughs> beautiful, and a lot of rich guys have been up in there. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> Oh, I know what he said back row. Yeah. <laughs> Real estate comedy coming at you. <laughs> right. That's one thing about Kim Kardashian. You don't know her to be fucking men of no status. So yeah. I will say that. Yeah. She yeah. fucked Ray J. She fucked Ray J. Ray J had a little she status. That's when his song was out. That's yeah. Brandy's a brother. Right? Ray J had some status. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think that tape she did with Ray J was part of her She rise didn't to fuck the top. Ronaldo Ray, and wow. he was right there. Ronaldo Ray. <laughs> Ronaldo, <laughs> Damn. That's a career choice. <laughs> hey, Kim, give me some of that puzzle. Give me some of that puzzle, girl. <laughs> Meet me at 227. <laughs> oh, I, I keep getting this note from the, uh, one of the producers. Uh, the clitoris says, ladder. <laughs> Kobe's divorce would have cost him $1.6 million a month. and uh, Yeah, she would have got half. Yeah, she would have gotten that. Got all three houses here. She would have got the whole thing. <clears throat> yeah, because when you're paying somebody $1.6 a, a month, month um, that's your money. That's that's your paper. That's yeah. your money. All 30-some thousand points right, right. there. Yeah. <laughs> right. You got to take her out there to the stairs on Santa Monica and work out with her. <laughs> <All right. laughs> That's a lot of that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Shit. Yeah. Shit. No, it ain't, ain't a lot of money when she gone. Yeah. A month. <laughs> I don't know how to fix this $1.6 million a month problem. I'm going to let her get about 40 checks. But then Jordan have to pay his wife 150 million? I have no idea, man. Yeah. You talking to the wrong person about that. But he said, they said he wrote the check in court. I, I couldn't answer. I couldn't he answer owed, that. He owed his wife. You're talking about Juanita. She got the biggest settlement. $150 million. 150. And Jordan wrote the check in, in um, court. I thought said, that the biggest settlement for any woman I it was um, Tiger Woods' Tiger wife. Tiger Woods, yeah. Tiger Woods' wife got the biggest settlement. She yeah. No, broke, she was I thought Bob Johnson's wife. Yeah, no, Bob, Bob Johnson's Johnson wife ain't got uh, shit. She got a billion. A billion? No, he's worth a billion. Yeah. Well, she got it all. <laughs> oh, damn. Man, this nigga's at 7-Eleven right now. <laughs> Even the judge ain't going to get no black bitch a billion dollars. No, hold on, <laughs> bitch. Let me I'll let you back up. Right, right. <laughs> don't, get your shit, don't get Anna Nicole in this motherfucker. <laughs> sidebar. <laughs> sidebar. <laughs> a billion dollars to a black woman. Now, you might well write the check to Louis Vuitton. <laughs> That's true. Louis Vuitton and... Uh, well, for a lot of these Gucci women, and maybe... Now, uh, Corey, think about this. For a lot of these women, marriage is the business plan. It's the new lottery. It is. That is the business plan. You know, it's and, and Kim Kardashian seems to be that mold. She's that, like she's you said, she dates dudes something. of status. She's yeah, coming she, with she something. She brings status with her. She, she does. She got yes, that gypsy yes. hustle about her. <sighs> <clears throat> a gypsy hustle. She used to sell clothes. <laughs> right. right. If you know, if you know the history of her, she was a hustler. She's like, a stylist, right? What do they call those people when you go to Egypt in the market and all? She that was shit? a stylist for Brandy. A stylist, and then oh, she, she hit Brandy's brother, oh, and then it. made a porn out of it and blew up. Yeah, that's the science. I think that it only works for Armenian and white bitches. Right. <laughs> Let a black woman do it. 
See what happened. Wait a minute. Ain't no black women ever blew up from sex tapes, y'all know? Pinky. <laughs> um, uh, what's her name? Um, Superhead. Right. Superhead. Superhead. What was the girl that um, But Superhead that is reviled. She don't have a, a VH1 TV show. She ain't on People magazine. She wasn't as marketable, I guess. I don't know. No, she's black. You know how it is. No, the girl that who who had um That ain't a this put it this way. The Kim Kardashian way up the ladder of success don't work for black women. No. So you saying on the radio right now, it don't matter who black women fuck on tape, they won't be famous for that. <laughs> no, no. I don't think so. Because black porn they is gonna hot. Be like, they going to be like, that's his bitch. That's his hoe. They're not going to be like, oh, wow, let's give you this TV show about it and put you in a different light. If they do give you a TV show, it's going to be some ratchet shit. Right. And that's deep what so, you yeah. say. That means that all black women on television who got power got it another way. So that's how right. did they get it? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's just a strange little conundrum we're in. I noticed they always have Oprah Winfrey looking women making it. Okay. If you really you think about Oprah it. Oprah Winfrey looking. Go deeper. Um, bitches you can't brag on that are black. <laughs> like the Panso lady. Yeah. You know what I'm oh, damn. <laughs> Great analogy. Mama Love. I mean, look at the oh, cast. Look at the shit. cast of The View. <laughs> Oh, handmade looking bitches. Look at the <laughs> cast of the view. I'm not. I, I, when I see that Daddy shit, McDaniels. I always say that is not a fucking coincidence. Acting school, right? <laughs> Damn, I hope I, I hope Whoopi Goldberg ain't listening to this. But Whoopi, you got to admit, goddamn. <laughs> I mean, goddamn it! I don't give a fuck what outfit you buy out of Victoria's Secrets. <laughs> Motherfuckers gonna be like, "Where the hood at?" <laughs> put your hood on that. Put, the, <laughs> put your hood on when you walk in the room. Put your little Trayvon Martin, you got me Trayvon Martin outfit on. <laughs> I don't want to see your head. Can you imagine Whoopi Goldberg at you know Fredericks of Hollywood or? <laughs> Or, you know, Victoria, what would she be buying? All I know is when, when <laughs> this is a movie that it just, I laughed so hard in the movie theater. People thought I was crazy when on The Lion King, Whoopi Goldberg was one of the coyotes and they made that fucking coyote look just like a hyena. Her. Not a hyena. She was a hyena. <laughs> oh my God, I was laughing at the theater like, they some dirty motherfucker. <laughs> it got black lips. Right. Oh, it was God. the only hyena with black lips. You trying to tell me Whoopi Goldberg don't have some beauty in her face? She got ass. Whoopi Goldberg lips look like she got a Tootsie Roll IV in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna get a couple of these calls in. We got um, LeBron Tootsie. from Detroit. LeBron, what's Tootsie. up? You, you on shit? This, this, we need to have Jay up in this motherfucker. Yeah, we, <laughs> Hell yeah! We can't, we can't afford Jay though. Oh no, he big time. Jay got this, what's up, LeBron? LeBron, what it do? LeBron, LeBron, That's right? So sweet. All right, fuck it. Get the next motherfucker from North Carolina. These calls, his lines is packed. We got a nigga with the um, most common black name I ever heard in my life, Calvin. <laughs> in every hood, in every hood, there's a Calvin. I don't know no white Calvin. <laughs> Not spelled Yo, like that. What's I just want to hit on that um, whole Kanye thing. Um, <clears throat> um, if you sit back and look at it, um, with um, Kanye, I think um, his girl was Amber Rose. Then the Amber got tired of Kanye wearing her panties, and then wow. Amber, then um, Amber left him, and now she got pregnant, and now all of a sudden he pops up with Kim, and now Kim's pregnant, and I guess Kanye just just had to shake those those um gay rumors, you know what I mean? He's coming on stage with a um. So you saying um, Kim Kardashian everything. <laughs> is is a beard? You're saying Kim Kardashian is Kanye's beard? Is that what you're saying? You believe that? That's what he's saying. No, do you believe it? I don't, shit, I don't know nothing about the man and tight pants. No, and no, I, no. I Everybody's know. scared to say the shit. But what if the Frank Ocean <laughs> motherfucker came out and said he gay? Right. Wasn't, well, they, wasn't they in the studio working a lot? Oh, um, what that are is, you um, implying? Frank, Frank Kanye was working with, uh, um, with Frank Ocean? Yeah. yeah. I believe that. Don't look over here. I don't know. <laughs> well, Jay Anthony, look at me. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> when you do work with motherfuckers who gay, goddammit, and y'all in the studio at night getting drunk. <laughs> Are you saying there's a gay pheromone in the building? <laughs> all I'm saying is at least some toenails getting polished in that motherfucker. That's all I'm saying. Then, at least. And then, and then also, um, Kanye 
is on the record saying how he likes the way women's blouses feels on on his skin. Wow. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean. I mean, could he be feeling it like he don't have on a shirt, but he hugging a woman? Exactly. No. <laughs> I'm no. just trying to, picture, I'm trying to find a way for the man. a damn blouse, and then somebody asked him about it. Did he, he say he was wearing a blouse? I, I like the way that it feels on my skin. Google it. How, like, did, how did he rhyme that? <laughs> I don't know, but I know Prince used to wear blouses. Ain't nobody it, say it, shit. It nobody it, say nothing it, about it, the little ice skate outfits. Out and heels. Yeah. 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 yeah, ain't nobody said nothing. And, and women still consider Prince one of the sexiest men on planet Earth. That's he be right. running around man, in all types know. of little outfits. Right. Just that shit, though, but man, I don't know, man. But, but if, if so I think what? you got to do is get some pussy, then, you know, just some count me out. <laughs> all right, thanks for the call, brother. We appreciate it. Oh, nice Kanye was a, a skirt on stage. He did. A kilt. A it was a kilt. Yeah, it was a kilt. Yeah, was a kilt. Whatever you want to call that shit, it's a skirt. I'm with you. Okay. Right. You ain't from Scotland. Right. What's going on? Scotland. Yard. I think people people come out the bag and they try to show you shit. It's just people turn their head to it. Scotland in, on in the some, yard. In some way, he's saying what it, what it is. Huh? Right. He's saying, yeah. Wow. Except me. Dick is unless, good. Unless, unless you're in a comedy skit or some shit like that, there's no reason to just throw a kilt on a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it ain't a comedy skit. I mean, you can make it, you can you can understand it if it's a to be funny. All us go to the game in kilts. Now that's just ignorant and funny shit. Right. But to just come out with you the only motherfucker, somebody got to say. You gonna roll the kilt tonight? And you're like, man, these niggas ain't ready for this. And he's right. right. These niggas yeah. was just by yeah. yourself at Kroger's. I'm not ready for and that, the kilt. <laughs> you know, it's just some shit you can't throw on us. And a kilt is one of them. Skirt. Especially a leather kilt. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, that means your nuts stink. <laughs> <laughs> your nuts are accessible and stanky. Leather kilts. Yeah. <laughs> All type of suede deposits. Yeah. Yeah. That's fruit booty shit, yeah, man. man. Come on, let's be no for real. Sense. That's right. fruit I'm booty with you shit. On that one. Yeah. You just don't, you don't do I that. concur. And in this society, I don't know why men aren't quick to admit that they gay because people still fuck with you in this society. Not but sometimes in some in some certain like any like football players, not not one football player until they retire comes out and says right. that they're gay. Lavernius Coles, not yeah. one. Played for the Jets, came out and said, you know, yeah. somebody. It would be a motherfucker who played for the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because they got uh, ass boosters. <laughs> Come <on>. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> but it is awkward when you know a person gay, and, and this is Hollywood. So I've I've chopped it up with gay people where I didn't bring out the obvious fact that you acting moist in the motherfucker in <laughs> front of me right now. Right, right, right. First time I ever got some money in Hollywood, it was the dude who the head of Fox Television, and he was one of them Elton John type of gay motherfuckers. And I played it off like it wasn't no problem. I was like, "Hey, how you doing, man? All right, let's have some coffee." And he was gay. He was gay as a happy man. He was like, Corey, we think you are fabulous over here. He was wearing a boa <laughs> right. and some glasses. And Benny and the Jets playing in the background. Right. Mother had a kilt in his bag. Just a bought leather one. Leather kilt. Right. A leather kilt. Gotta be leather. <laughs> Let's get these callers, man. You know you ain't got that much time. Come okay. on. Okay. Danielle. I think this is, is that Danielle? Danielle, is it a girl? Yeah. Oh, hey, Danielle. we got a girl. Hey. What's up? Shut up. Danielle. Hi, Corey. Hey. Hey, Joe. Hey, How hey. How are everyone doing? Hey, I'm hey. like a huge fan. I've been bootlegging your show for the past few months. My husband has been um, getting pissed off at every time I come home with a Coreyism because that's what I call it. Oh, that's what's it. up. Hey, T-shirt. Hey. You know, I go home and be like, what's your pussy ass doing? Right, that's right. It. That's that Corey, Corey Oakham no, conversational I just, I just pieces. Say, I definitely enjoy male conversation. It's good to to listen to it. You know, um, it gives you another perspective on shit that, you know, your man ain't going to tell you all the time. And um, I just appreciate it. Wow, thank you. Thanks. Appreciate the call. So do you cheat? Uh-oh. Do I cheat? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Wow. Uh, yeah, no, take that so as a right yes. Come on. I'll take you know that what? as a yes. It's weird, it's weird how people, you notice this. You watch this when you talk to people. Watch how people's hearing goes out. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> what you say? An honest question. <laughs> right. Is exactly. that like, they've been having conversation the whole fucking time, right. back and forth. Heard no every problem. word. But when it comes to like, do you take it up the ass? Uh, Excuse uh, me. Uh, that, uh, then you know, <laughs> then you know, I a know, motherfucker. Is, 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 the, the there's ass, two things that are happening. They know the answer and they're trying to find a way to not answer. But Jay, Jay, she just answered you. She said she takes it up the ass. She. She has to take it up the ass. You're an answer to you cheat. No, right. And Your I husband don't know he's the only one stretching that ass. <laughs> I do not cheat, but however, have you ever I cheated? Open have you ever cheated? Possibility of maybe. Cheating. Have oh, you ever cheated? She but wants to cheat. I don't cheat. think it's called cheating when your husband gives you the okay. Oh, oh y'all got a relationship like oh, that. Oh, he wears a kilt. You can't be married to a white man. Yeah, he wears a kilt. No, I'm not married to a white man, and Zoe, don't go say go deeper. I was just no. about to. <laughs> do y'all do the cuck, you and, your, you and your husband do the cuck load thing? That shit, that new shit, where it be one dude in there with you and your husband? Uh, no. Oh, okay. No. You cheat alone. Hello. <laughs> That's selfish. Exactly. <laughs> Invite him. You might be surprised. It's not selfish. Oh. That is amazing. It's, it's not selfish, especially when you're willing to do him a notch. Hey. It's your husband. All right. All right. Yeah, Step it up that. a notch. All right. So I, I, if, if I'm willing to do that for him, then of course he's willing to do one for me. Take yes, one he, for the team. he is. It's just follow a, me on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, minute, he's willing to do one for you. What you want him to do? Right. Allow me a pass. Allow you a, 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 a dick break, pass. Yeah, oh. a dick pass. Yeah. That's cool. Emergency yeah. dick. Break that's what we gonna emergency. talk about. We gonna talk about that next week. Women allowing um, men allowing women pass and. Um, um, men allowing their woman to have a dick pass. Penis pass. Wow. Penis, can you, penis, penis pass. If I can go fuck, you can go fuck right. too. And everybody's cool. Exactly. Once a month, once a year, exactly. I'll be working it out. Wow. Right. I got to see the dude. You got to show me a picture of the dude. <laughs> he got to be shorter than me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Your final say so. He got to have a leather kilt on. <laughs> <laughs> he got to be gay. Yeah. <laughs> he got to be yeah. gay. Yeah. No, I don't know. He got to be gay because then it, right. might, it might contaminate the waters. Right. Yeah. What, what if your husband be like, he got to be cute, though? <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> well, he I'm, says I'm it. I got to be cute. I I'm not going to. Tell my husband he's cute. No, he said, what if your cute. husband tells be you cute, that the dude got to be cute? Prerequisite. <laughs> Don't be so the dude wrong. you fuck with got to be cute. What type shit is that? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. She's exactly. from the D. She don't get down like that. Her husband going to want her fucking an ugly motherfucker. Oh, okay. Anyway, oh. thanks for the call, Danielle. <laughs> All right. We're going to try to get you. these Bye. other two calls in real quick. Do we have time? We got Mike from Pasadena. Dina Love. What's up, man? Yes, sir, what's going on, man? I can't believe I made it through. Yeah, we can't believe it either, motherfucker. <laughs> No, I'm just fucking with you. What's up, Mike? We fucking with you. I want, to, I want to chime in on the, the whole Kanye and Kim Kardashian thing. That shit is, I'm going to just put it like this. They're both attention whores. That's all it is. Kanye oh, great point. Great point. Kim Kardashian loves attention. And you see that nigga go on stage with a fucking skirt and then try to make excuses for the shit. And she's the type of bitch... Where, you know, and she just likes every celebrity just to get in that limelight, you know, get the little spotlight for a second. And yeah. that whole, um, that whole, this motherfucker did that shit just out of spite because he got mad because his bitch, Amber Rose, left and got pregnant with another dude, you know? Who, what I'm who, so I think he hey, did, like, you, did you talk he about Coco that. tonight? No, we didn't talk about Coco. <laughs> what you think, Jay? What? How? Thanks, guys, caller. Thanks, thanks, Mike. How? How is is he allowing people to grip his wife's ass, I or think, is his pimp hand losing its grip? Mm. Oh shit! You know what? We I'm did just a, saying. We did a show about this before. <laughs> when guys get older and they get younger women because they so used to being of status that they feel like they still got it like that. And mm. I'm not dissing the brother, but I'm just saying when you got a younger girl mm-hmm. who um, basically promotes her ass. Mm-hmm. Are you really expecting her to only be fucking with you? That's what I would right, ask right. any man. Mental block. Right. Who right. Who, ha- who who is at least 15 years older than the girl right. that you fucking with? Do you Not really expect her to only fuck Just with you? Just you. Yeah. Right. Well, and her ass think, is a claim to fame. And for for she does have a nice ass. Yeah. yeah it's, it's irregular. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
it's an ass like you like that is connected to a white woman. You look at her like that. You like that. Right. That right. makes no sense. I've never seen a white woman with an ass like that. Right. So when you when you go out when your woman goes out. Niggas are gonna want to touch that ass. Yes, <laughs> and niggas that's will, a huge problem that he has. It niggas is. will pay you um, or try to broker a deal to touch that ass, or at least yeah. graze the yeah. ass. Right. I'm just gonna walk by real fast. <laughs> but but we all know Ice T to be um, like a, a, a real manly type of man. I would wanna I would wanna ask him. I mean, you you got a young. Whippersnapper. Why does it matter that she's whose younger? Whose ass is... It doesn't what, matter that she's young. Who's that, Auntie? Because the guys around her are no, young. but you said... But you said if you have if you have a man whose wife or girl is like at least 15 years younger, I'm saying, why does it matter? It's anyway. Oh, no, it doesn't. I don't think it matters. I'm just saying this is what happens when she is younger. Right. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. Every, a lot of men want a younger girl. Right. You know, that's... that's if That's realistic man, thinking, Jay. Old, old, old man, you got a yeah. woman, you got to worry about her fucking body. That's what I'm saying. Right, if you, right. And I think that it's okay once you realize it. But when you see guys who are 15, 20 years older than they look girlfriend they got now, and they look shocked when she do shit like that, I'm like, are you really that out of touch? Because that guy's not <laughs> in the club no more. You think the world stopped working because you got older? Motherfucker, <laughs> this is a cold world. Should I should have stayed with Darlene? Yeah, I think they would have. I think, well, but, no. Here's the here's the problem yeah. with Darlene. Ice don't want to grab Darlene's ass at this particular point. What? He has a woman whose ass he like to grab. The problem is <laughs> other people want to grab her ass too. Right. That's, and are that's doing the problem it. he got to deal with. Oh, oh, hey Jay, check this out. It ain't that other people want to grab her ass. People, other people, people are, are grabbing her ass. ass. <laughs> that tells Publicly. me the, the pimp hand is weakening. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, your pimp hand's gonna weak. Yeah, just yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, do you want to go? I, it's like this. I you want to go to such? Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. Right. Well, fuck. She's what twenty years younger than him. Yeah. She's gonna want to go. She's gonna go. And her yeah, age group is in the club. Right. Yeah. And you know, she's a Caucasian, that's uh, Kardashian right. too. And, and, and let's just mold. say, let's just say the Ice Loves Coco show is publicity to save face for Ice because when they said they got the one phone, I was laughing like a motherfucker. They got like, one phone. It was one phone. I was laughing like uh, Whoopi with the hyena and then uh, Lion King movie again. <laughs> Why do they have one phone? They share a cell. They share a cell phone they because they have no phone. secrets. Yeah. It's the what? trust. It's the trust phone. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you know that shit funny that I'm trust I phone. I got you, babe. <laughs> hey man, look. Is it just me or some of the some of the greatest players in LA history? When they get older, they wind up with these young girls that run circles around their ass. Ha- are you because, saying the great players become great simps as uh, they get because older? Because what happens is it's like it's like anything. It's like uh, speak on it, Jack. It's like the the king of the beast, the lion, mm-hmm. being in charge. Well, it it once you get older, you can't herd all that shit in. You know, when you're younger and you're a young lioness, you can say, "Get your ass over here," and she's like, "Okay, I'm gonna go this motherfucker crazy." But once you get right. older, you can't piss on everything like, no more. Fuck you, nigga! I'm going out. I'll right. see you when I get back. You be sleep. You know. To add on to the fact you just said, Jay, in power. when you get older as a lion, that young buck lion that, come in and run you away run from you the, the pride. Away from right. the pride. That's what's happening. Oh, eat yeah. your son. Yeah. Wild kingdom. And <laughs> eat your son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, they no kill. Talk. They kill the boys. Hey, get your bastard out of here. Get the women right. back in heat. Get the uh, when these little bitches back. grow up, I'm gonna fuck the shit out of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mufasa. Oh damn. <laughs> anyway, this, we gotta wrap this shit. Hey man. Hey Jay. Man, thank, thank you, man. Hey man, come on. Great man. show. Oh, I ain't even gotta say it. <laughs> Don't don't even call. <laughs> you already know. Pop the fuck up. We got TDP going on over there. Every Tuesday, right? 5150 show. It's every Tuesday, 5150, 6 o'clock on the West Coast. We started off. Um, so the boys the reason. We had Auntie oh, in here. Auntie, Auntie got quiet. Auntie. Auntie, you got something to say in closing? Watch this. No. <laughs> I knew I wasn't gonna say shit. <laughs> Why shit. Who is everybody? I don't know. What, what what does everybody do? Uh know? Auntie, what do you do? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> auntie, chill out. Uh, auntie, I guess. Why y'all call her auntie? 
Yeah, why do we call you Auntie? That's her stage name. <laughs> That's her yeah. rap name, MC Auntie. <laughs> <laughs> and who is this over here? I'm, I'm uh, my brother. Here. Zoe Williams, voice of reason from the Foxhole. Me and Corey had Foxhole shows, and now we're over here at RMC. Oh, so I brother, have a Tuesday show as well. He's got vocabulary. He's got um, thesaurus. Is, yeah, he's a plesaurus. A Plus- black. <laughs> A, a, black, a dinosaur. You know, I'm saying he's a black dinosaur. <laughs> this is a guy to take the phone calls. Uh, no, nah, this is one of the young. He used to be an R and B singer. He had right. a single called "Bad." His girlfriend jumped on him. His girlfriend jumped on him, and he went to the hospital, and he didn't trick on her, so he all right. <laughs> TDP is from the motherfucking yeah. um, Foxhole as well. One of the most oh, I started on KGLH under uh, with J. Anthony Brown's with, uh, oh, wing right yeah, now. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, all right. So, look, I want Orlando, Florida to know I'm coming to town to work that little pussy ass improv this weekend. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Y'all come fuck with me, Orlando. Everybody from the Florida region. Uh, what about Ontario this weekend? Oh, the 20th. Oh, the 20th. I'm doing a show in Ontario, California, but I don't give a fuck about that pussy ass shit. Ain't no money in that shit for real. <laughs> when you come back to Oh, yeah, and follow me on Twitter. Twitter at so ain't no money there, I know, but... I thank you for coming down. Jay, are you working this weekend out of town? No, I'm not working anymore. You're just doing the time joining. Just doing <laughs> That's sweet. I hope I get a radio gig like that, Jay. I want to be like you, man. <laughs> Tell Tom I say what's up. They always show me love on time joining. I love going on that show, there, man. man. Follow yeah. me at Jay Spot Comedy Club. That's what's up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jay got a comedy club out here. I was doing the Voice of Reason down there for a little while in the yeah. comedy club. It was real nice. That's where we ended the um, Foxhole shit. That's what we were well, down I there. did. That's where I That's, ended, yeah, you it, ended too, it. You too. closed it out we down there? We closed it out yeah. down, down there. The motherfuckers to kiss my mom. No, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> anyway, we got to wrap the show. That's what's up. 5150. We'll see y'all next week.